All right then guys, we have finally reached the fun part of this course and that's where we are going to dive into the code. And in this video, I want to focus a little bit on basic routing. Let's open our browse directory and let's go to web.php. And right here, we have our route store that are assigned to the web middleware group. As you can see, we are calling a route class right here and we want to perform some type of request. In this case, we want to perform a GET request. And later on, we will talk about other types of requests that we could perform. But for now, every single time the route receives a GET request to the forward slash, which is basically our URL, so our home URL, we want to do something. Now, this forward slash is optional. So if we remove it, it will basically be the same exact thing as adding it, but I prefer to use it. So let me add a comment real quick. All right, right here. If we want to go to firstproject.com, we basically need to write down a forward slash. But every single time you want to make a request to, let's say, firstproject.com slash users, the get request needs to receive a forward slash users. Once again, the forward slash is optional, so the output of users or forward slash users will be exactly the same. Now, inside our function right here, we can do whatever we want. And as you can see right now, we're returning a method view with the name of welcome. And honestly, returning a view inside your web.php is not a good habit to get used to. Later on, I will show you how we could return a controller, which will then return a view. If we switch to our terminal, so to my iterm, inside our directory, we basically need to run php artisan serve. All right, it's serving right now. Let's copy the URL. Let's go to Chrome. Let's paste it in the URL. And this will redirect us to the welcome page of Laravel. Let's go to our code editor and see what's inside the welcome.blade file. So let's open our resources and our views directory. And in here, you can see a welcome page. Let's click on it. All right. And well, let me actually see what we have inside our browser. We have a button called documentation. Let's go to Visual Studio Code, Control F or Command F, let's say documentation. And right here, let's change documentation to doc. Save it, hop back to Chrome, refresh it, and we change the button. All right, let me undo that real quick because that's not what we want to do in this video. I want to focus on endpoints. So let's do that. Let's go to web.php again, and let's create a new route, but I basically don't want to copy paste it every single time. Let's just create it on our own. So what we want to do is a route to users. Let's start off. We want a route, colon, colon. We want to get request, parentheses, because it's a function, semicolon. Inside our get request, let's add single quotes, forward slash, users. Now outside of our first param, let's add a comma. Let's write down function, space, parentheses, curly brackets. Let's hit enter. Inside our curly braces, let's return a piece of text. So let's say return, welcome to the users page. Let's close it off with a semicolon. All right, let's save it. Let's hop to Google Chrome. And let's change the endpoint in our URL. So right now it's basically the forward slash and let's add forward slash users. Let's hit enter. And you can see that we've been redirected to, well, basically the string that we're returning to the view. So a quick recap. Whenever a user wants to make a get request to forward slash users, which is the endpoint, we are returning a piece of text of welcome to the users page. Whenever a user makes a get request to the home page, so the forward slash, we're going to look inside our views directory for a file called welcome. But you need to keep in mind that all routes should return a response to the browser of the user. And a pretty cool thing in Laravel is that there are multiple ways how we could return a response. So what we've done so far, let me add a comment, is route that sends back a view. We have a route to users. We're returning a string. 
And what I want to do is to create a new route, but instead of sending back a view or a string, I want to send back an array. So instead of copy pasting it again, let's create it one more time. So let's add a comment, route to users dash array. All right, so we want to perform our route. We want a get request. We want the request to be towards forward slash users once again, comma, function. And we want to return set of brackets. And let's add some text in here. Let's say PHP, HTML, Laravel. All right, let's save it. Let's go back to Google Chrome. Let's refresh it. And you can see that the output, let me zoom in, is an array with three elements. So index zero is PHP, index one is HTML, and index two is Laravel. All right, let's go to Visual Studio Code again. Keep in mind that Laravel will automatically convert an array into a JSON response. So let me add that as well. But we could also send back a JSON object instead of sending back an array. So let's create that one. So let's say route to users, but now as a JSON object. Let's say route, get request, and you'll get familiar to writing down the request very soon. Another request to the users page, comma, function, parentheses, curly braces. And what we want to do right here is to return a new response, which is a method, so parentheses, and we want to point to JSON, which is also a method. So let's add another set of parentheses and a semicolon. Let's go inside our JSON method. Let's add curly brackets and let's hit enter. So in here, we could basically say our name is equal to Dari. Our course has a name of Laravel beginners to advanced. Let's save it. Let's hop back to Google Chrome refresh it, and you can see that we have a JSON object right here with our name and the course. There's also a possibility to return functions. So let's go to Visual Studio Code. And right here, let's create another route to route to users, but right now with a function. So this is the last one. So let's say route get. We want forward slash users. We want a function curly braces, parentheses and curly braces. And we want to return a function called redirect. Where do we want to redirect the user to? Well, let's say that whenever a user gets to forward slash users, redirect them to the home page. Let's save it. Let's hop back to Chrome. Let's refresh the page. And look, we're back at the home page. There are lots more return options, but for now, I want to keep it very simple. And later on, as we proceed in this course, I want to show you how we could return a download file or redirect it with flash messages. Let's hop back to Visual Studio Code and let's get rid of all of our routes, except for the first one. Let's get rid of the comment as well. So instead of saying welcome, let's return a view called home. If we save it and go back to our Google Chrome, let's test it actually out to see what our error message is. Well, our view is not found. So let's create that one. Let's go to Visual Studio Code. And inside our views directory, we need to create a new file. And since the HTML portion of Laravel is running on Blade, we don't need to add the .html extension. But instead, we need a blade.php. So let's do that. Let's create a new file. Let's call it home.blade.php. Let's hit enter. And you probably might wonder why. And later on, I will go in depth about views and blade, but bear with me for this video. Let's save our page. Let's go back to Chrome to see if our error will disappear. Refresh the page. And nice, this looks good. Let's go back to Visual Studio Code. In our home.blade.php, let's write down doc and hit tab. Inside our body, let's create an H1, which says, this is our new homepage. Let's save it. Let's hop back to Chrome again, refresh the page. It's cool, isn't it? I remember how stoked I was when I did this the first time. 
we have basically created a new view inside our views directory. We went into our blade.php. We said, well, whenever someone goes to our landing page or homepage, return a view called home. And that has been done right now. 